All right, what's going on everyone? So let's talk about optimizing SVGs for React. So what are we trying to do? I have a basic React app set up, which you can just see here. It's just got some white text on a, on a dark background. Um, and I want to add an SVG icon right to the, right to the main body of this site. Um, and I have a, a pair of dice. Um, this is an existing SVG, um, but as you can tell, there's a there's a lot of elements to this, right? There's um, there's a stroke here. Uh, there's some dark parts. There's some light parts. Some of these items are grouped in weird ways. Um, I just want to basically simplify this as much as possible. Eventually, what I want to put on my page is something that looks like this, right? This is all just just basic, basic shapes. No outlines, um, because this is a lighter color. This will show up well um, against the dark background of my site. So what I want to do is, is a few things here. So in order to work with these paths as shapes more easily, the first thing I want to do is I want to take this stroke around the front card, and I'm going to go to Object Path Outline Stroke. That's going to basically turn that outline stroke into a into a, a usable shape path, right? Um, the other thing that's striking me as kind of funny is that this A is very close to the edge here. I want to move it inwards. Um, I want to move it, you know, closer closer to sort of the the middle space, like where the J is on the other card. Um, now the issue here is that by trying to grab the A, what happens is I'm also grabbing uh, this diamond shape in the middle because these actually are grouped. So I want to go to object ungroup. Let's make sure that we, yep, now they're ungrouped. And I think they will actually still show up as, yeah, they'll still show up as group, grouped. Um, and this can be a little mis misleading um, because actually what's happening here is there is a path behind them that is still grouped. So I'm going to delete these. I just deleted the front ones. And now we see that there is actually a second set um, of, of shapes behind them. And those are grouped as well. So let's ungroup those. Let's ungroup again. You can do this as many times as necessary in order to make sure that... Okay, so now see we don't have any ungroup left, but they are still both being selected at the same time. So now the issue is um, these are actually basically a combined compound path. Um, don't have to get super into that, but basically the compound paths are going to be what we're going to work with in React. Um, for now, I don't really care about them being compounded grouped together. Um, so I want to actually separate these compounded paths. So I'm going to go to Object Compound Path Release here. And now we can see that I can select these items individually. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this centerpiece of the A um, being colored in like that, but if I try to delete it, you'll notice that it's not getting actually knocked out from the background of that A. So I want to make sure that um, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to set that to a different color. And then I'm going to grab both of these. I'm going to grab the outside and the inside, and I'm going to select Divide. Now I've done that, and I can grab the inner piece again and delete it, and it's gone. Okay, so now I can grab the outside of the A, and I can move it wherever I want. Um, so I'm just going to move it closer to the middle there. Okay, so now let's take a look back at what we're trying to accomplish again. Um, I want to get rid of that outline stroke on the front card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to again divide everything out. So we're basically making um, just separating all the possible shapes in this element. Um, now I'm going to just start grabbing pieces of this outline shape and deleting them piece by piece until it is all gone. Okay, so now no more outline. Now I want to do the exact same thing with these inner pieces with the A and the J and the diamond, right? Because I want to just basically remove them. So I'm going to take the J, delete it. I'm going to take the A, delete it. I want to take the diamond, delete it. I still do want that inner piece of the A though because that is going to have to be part of the um, shape that I end up with. So now I have all the pieces that I actually want to keep. 
So I'm just going to select them all, and I'm going to unite them. And then we can, um, we can color this united shape however we want. So I'm just going to give it, um, I'm going to give it sort of a, a light gray color. <laughs> 